Shout out to Mr. Boxing today too. Um, I actually got this information from him. He made a video uh, a couple of hours ago talking about how uh, Luis or I mean, he, I mean Joseph Parker's trainer was talking about how he doesn't feel Joseph Parker is ready to face the likes of Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder right now. And he's talking about how he thinks Luis... I keep thinking about Luis Ortiz because I'm pissed off at Luis Ortiz right now. But he he's basically was talking about how he thinks Deontay... I mean, uh, Joseph Parker should have like a year and fight some low-level guys to prepare him for somebody like Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder. And he estimated about a year's time. Here's my problem with this. Joseph Parker is a champion. And Joseph Parker... What I don't like what they're saying is they're saying like he's not ready. Joseph Parker has already fought guys like Andy Ruiz, Carlos Tagum, Hughie Fury. So it's not like he's some... 18 year old guy who's been fighting nothing but bums. This guy has fought guys before already. He's already fought top guys. You might even say that some of the guys that he's fought are better than the guys that Wilder fought because guys like Carlos Stankham and uh, Andy Ruiz, Yuki Fury, they're very talented guys. You could say some of these guys are more talented than the guys that Wilder's faced. So I, I think that's a, a straight up fucking excuse. Like, you mean to tell me you need a, he needs to wait a whole year fighting nothing but bums? And they're talking about this Kujimoto guy. That guy's a bum. Uh, Joseph Parker is not going to learn anything from fighting him. He's just matter of fact, he's going to walk right through him. That's an easy title defense. Um, this is why I said I said in, the, in a previous video on my old channel that uh, Joseph Parker's milking the belt because once he actually faces. Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is going to literally walk right through this guy. I could almost guarantee you. Uh, people got mad. Uh, Joseph Parker fans got mad when I said that. But uh, I, something I believe. I just think it's an excuse. If you're a champion. This is how I feel when it comes to Wilder. If you're a champion. You have to d defend your belt. Same thing I felt about Javante Tank Davis. We have Floyd with the junior talking about how Javante Tank Davis is young. He's not ready. Yet when he before he got stripped by the belt. When he was a champion. Um, he was acting like he wanted nothing to do with Vasily Lomachenko. That pissed me off because he needs to be fighting someone like... Because he, he was acting like he didn't want to challenge himself. And I just thought that pissed me off as a boxing fan. Because it's like, dude, Vasily Lomachenko is in your weight class. Why are you acting like you don't want to fight him? So now they're acting like they want Joseph Parker to, to not fight uh, Anthony Joshua or Wilder. His, his trainer at least for like a year. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Look at Erickson Lewison. Erickson Lewison has like 18 fights. He's already facing Charlo for the championship. And Charlo's regarded as one of the best guys in his division. Look at Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua faced Vladimir Klitschko in 19 fights. You could have said these guys weren't ready. Errol Spence faced uh, Kell Brook in his 19th fight. You, in his 20th fight, you could have said he wasn't ready. Look at Andre Ward. Andre Ward faced Mikel Kessel, who had way more experience than him in his like 19th professional fight. You could have said he wasn't ready. So why are people saying they're using this excuse, his trainer is using this excuse that he's not ready and he needs to prepare for himself? You know what I'm saying? Like Mr. Boxer today was saying in his video, he was talking about how Mike Tyson, look at how fast they move Mike Tyson. Yeah, he was only 18, 19 years old. And this kind of annoyed me when his trainer said that, uh, uh, Joseph Parker's trainer said that Muhammad Ali was fighting nothing but bums. Yeah, but Muhammad Ali in his 19th professional fight fought the best heavyweight in the world who was Sonny Liston. And he was like 22 years old. He was younger than Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker's 25. He was like 21, 22 when he did that Muhammad Ali. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I just think that's a, a straight up fucking excuse. And uh, Joseph Parker needs to fight uh, Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder by next year. Because if he, if he doesn't, he's just ducking these guys. Point blank, period. That's all I have to say. Please subscribe. Please like the video, guys.